Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a Crisis on Infinite Earths trailer breakdown for the final trailer that has just been released. I'm sorry this video is a little bit late compared to some other people's videos, but I wasn't home to make the video. But we are finally getting around to it, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so we got a lot to talk about. This trailer is the final trailer. It's a lot longer. It's about a minute 30. There is a lot of shots. I think there's like 50 shots to go over. And also we've got a lot of important dialogue that we must cover and, you know, talk about, break down, theorize. So the first shot of the trailer is of Oliver and Mia. And I believe they're on Lian Yu. And Oliver is hugging Mia. And then we move on to the next shot. And by the way, over this... And this really, really gets to you, you know, there were shivers running up my spine when I was watching this. Because this is the monitor's sort of monologue or like voiceover that he's going to be doing right at the start of the crossover, I'm guessing. He says the multiverse, and I'm paraphrasing bits, I'm cutting out bits because it's quite a long speech, but the multiverse. Now there's a malevolent force at work with a singular goal, the destruction of all there is. So that is sort of the voice overlay going over this trailer, setting up, you know, what you're seeing on screen. So we move on to the next shot. We've got a shot of Gotham City. Don't know if that's been used on Batwoman or not. Then we've got the shot of Batwoman. And then we cut to a very interesting thing. We've got a shot of two versions of the Flash running. It seems like this is the reverse Flash because you can see clearly in this frame, like I've got two freeze frames that I'm going to be putting on the screen. In one of them, you get to see there is clearly two streaks of lightning, and I don't recognise this shot. I do believe this is a new shot, so I think Reverse Flash is actually going to show up, unless it's like a new version of Flash. I don't think it's F90 Flash, unless it's like a completely new version. I believe this is actually Reverse Flash running alongside Barry. So, you know, maybe he's actually in Crisis, like we've all theorised for years, but then recently we weren't sure if he was going to show up, so maybe this is him. And then we go... Obviously continuing over this voice narration you have the images that you're seeing with you know this shot including White Canary, we've got Brainy and we've got Lois Lane and this is in the future Team Arrow's bunker because in a later shot you see them in the sort of overgrown space. Okay so big thing right here so we know that Kara's mum's going to be showing in the crossover she's going to be showing up we've obviously got Clark and Lois who were living on Argo then we cut to this shot right here. Argo City got destroyed. It's getting destroyed. Holy shit. They're destroying the last piece of land on Krypton. I fucking love Argo. I love those episodes. So I'm bummed out. But still, that's going to be really impactful. That's going to be a really great scene. As you can see, it cuts to... Obviously, you have Jean and Alex both comforting Kara. You can see that their hands are on her back and we cut to the in front view of her and Kara is crying and it goes to a close up of her because you know this is you know the only thing left of her world basically being destroyed and so obviously this is Argo on you know Earth 38's you know universe so obviously there could be other versions of Argo out there so it's not like such a big deal but it is a fucking massive deal that you're destroying you know, the only piece of Krypton in her universe. Obviously, this trailer really does tease that Earth-38 is going to get destroyed. And so then we go to Earth-38 still, and we are inside the DEO. The skies are red. Obviously, that means a crisis is coming. But we got a lineup of our heroes right here. So we got Jean, we got Mia, Batwoman, Supergirl, Green Arrow, Superman, Lois Lane, and I think that's Brainy, as far as I can tell. And you can see in the reflection, yeah, the skies are most definitely red. So, then we cut to this shot and you see Uranus being destroyed. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. But anyway, let's move on. And so this is where we got more dialogue. And we've got Lila Michaels, aka Harbinger in the crossover, explaining this. I brought you all to Earth 38 because this is where the monitor wants you to make your stand. And then Oliver in reply says we're going to need a bigger team. So in this shot where she's saying that you can see her. She's with all those heroes that I just named prior. So you know there is. I don't know let's count. We've got one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here. So eight people in the room as well, and it seems like they are going out and they're going to recruit like the Flash and. You know, the Flash is going to recruit Black Lightning, as you see later in the trailer and stuff like that. That's all going to happen. But for now, at least at the start on Supergirl's episode, I don't think the Flash is going to be there. Unless you have them going off and doing their missions, trying to get other heroes to join the fight. Maybe that's happening. I don't know. But anyway, so we got this close-up shot. Well, this medium shot of Supergirl. And then in the background, you got Superman and Lois. And Kara seems to be sort of very confused or scared. I can't really tell. But, you know, very much so showing some emotion. Then we got to Harbinger. She's obviously doing that talk that I mentioned. And you have the monitor showing up. I believe this is actually in the Wave Rider. So I can't tell if this is like episode 1 or episode 2 of the crossover or like episode 3. But I'm supposing most of this is from the Supergirl episode. That we're getting in these trailers because they don't want to spoil too much and so then the monitor says this across space exists seven heroes who can save the multiverse and so obviously these heroes are the paragons if you've read crisis and obviously we don't know who those seven paragons are we know that iris recruits the seventh paragon and in this trailer iris tries to recruit someone but that's someone who we will get to later i'm pretty sure he's not in much of the crossover so Obviously, you got Oliver, you got Barry, you got Kara, you got Batwoman. That's definitely four of them. But who else is it going to be? Because there's so many heroes. But what are those specific seven going to be? That is the big question. Then we move over to this shot, just a different angle, or you know, the camera's just you know tilted around a bit and pan around a bit. You get to see Oliver and Mia as well, but also Alex is in the background. And then we got this shot. We've seen this in a prior trailer, but you know, this is a bit extended. We got a fight going on, we've got the Flash showing up, he speeds in with Supergirl and Superman. Maybe this is just when the Flash shows up for the first time. Then we got Oliver talking to Superman, talking about how he is really important essentially. And you see Kara in the background, and then in the background of the next shot, you've got White Canary. So they're all there. Then we go to the Wave Rider, the monitor is speaking, does that speech that I just mentioned. And everyone's watching, you've got Cisco. so maybe this is the Flash's episode. But also you got Batwoman, so it could be Batwoman's episode, not sure. And we got Supergirl, so they're all sort of reacting to what the monitor is saying. Then Supergirl is wearing a completely different thing. She's just in her Kara Danvers get up with a very smart Clark Kent. And so Clark says, I'll find them. And this is in reply to the, you know, seven heroes. That's the way they cut it in the trailer. And then we go over to whatever Earth this is, but we got Iris and Clark stress the same, so we can guess this is just after that. He's gone off with Iris and presumably Lois Lane to find and recruit a new hero. And who is that new hero? That new hero is a different version of Clark Kent. So Clark says, you're Clark Kent, right? Or something like that. And so then we get the shot of Tom Welling as Clark Kent wearing, you know, sort of the farmer sort of Kent get up which is really amazing I can't wait to see what happens right here he could be one of the paragons but this is the guy that I was mentioning he's not going to be in much of the crossover so I wouldn't expect him to end up being the paragon but then this is amazing Kate Kane says Bruce and this is who you see you get to see Kevin Conroy playing Bruce Wayne in this sort of exosuit like Batman Returns and what happens is he goes down the stairs and he goes Kate. So they obviously recognize each other, but I believe that this is probably not her version of Bruce Wayne. I think this is probably someone from another Earth. And, you know, they just look the same because they're doppelgangers. So it seems like Kara is there with her because you see this in this shot right here. And so, wow, Bruce Wayne showing up, Kevin Conroy playing him. Oh my God can't fucking wait also it seems like potentially there may be some people who are recruited via time traveling so maybe this is bruce wayne in the future i'm not sure but obviously this is in relation to you know the future version of bruce wayne potentially okay so let's move away from bruce wayne this is really cool we got the shadow demons they kind of look like the dementors from harry potter so they're attacking the team this is in this place that we keep on seeing in some of the past trailers with the rubble inside all I can see is mere smoke, we've got Batwoman and we've got the Atom, and so they're fighting the Shadow Demons, which relates to Reverse Flash, 
So that's very interesting, considering I think we saw Reverse Flash in the trailer. And then we've got this shot. It's really, really fast, but you can see Superman. He's either stopping a helicopter or, you know, like hitting a helicopter away from the sky. But I don't have the specific screenshot here, but he does have a symbol on the back of his cape. And maybe this is like a death of Superman, like just like one of the Superman. So maybe it's the Kingdom Come version of himself or it could be someone completely new we saw that shot in the past trailer with that sort of homage to the death of superman so i do think we're definitely going to see a death of a superman one of the coolest shots of the trailer the red skies are engulfing what is presumably earth 38 like i said earth 38 could be saved it could be fine maybe loads of this stuff is on other earths we really don't know but obviously a lot of people are presuming this is Earth 38 because we know the skies will turn red at some point. So we got Supergirl and Superman firing their heat vision into, I guess, the anti-monitor or, you know, part of his force. And it just looks really cool, you know, the reds and the blues and everything. Then we go over and we see the atom on definitely a different Earth. There's no red skies or anything, but he's been teleported away. Maybe this is due to the fact that the Earth is about to get hit by the antimatter. And I believe this actually is Gotham City, because in one of the shots later with Oliver, seems like there is the Gotham City type, you know, office that looks like Bruce Wayne's office in Batwoman. So, it could be a completely different Earth, I'm not sure. But obviously the idea in the trailer was to make a stand on Earth-38, but like I said, Earth-38 could be destroyed, it could be saved, and maybe they're fighting on other Earths because that's what they do in Crisis, they don't just stay on one Earth. Okay, so leading to the time travel stuff, we've got what looks like future Team Arrow's, you know, bunker because, you know, it's overgrown and everything. So maybe Lois and White Canary along with Brainiac do time travel. Obviously, Brainiac has the ability to time travel and so does White Canary because she's part of the Legends. And this is really interesting. Moving on to the next one, it looks like these are Daxamite ships. So is mon going to make a sort of brief appearance in the crossover? Did Chris shoot anything? We know that Chris is back in Vancouver for the first time this season. Obviously, he has a reason to be there because his wife lives there for most of the year because, you know, Melissa is Supergirl. However, he's normally in LA and that's where he normally lives and, you know, Melissa goes over to visit him in LA. But maybe, recently, he has been shooting some indoor scenes and maybe this Daxamite stuff, because it really does look like the Daxamite ship, like, I could be wrong, but damn, it looks exactly like them, so maybe he makes a cameo, maybe some of the Daxamites make a cameo, because we know that some of them got away on Earth-38 at the end of Season 2, loads of them got away, so that's really interesting, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. Okay, so then we got the Flash, and he's meeting Black Lightning, he's recruiting him, I think this is in the Wave Rider, and what Barry says is, we need your help to stop this antimatter wave. And in reply, Black Lightning says, alright then, Flash. So, he's recruiting him right here, that's really awesome. Then we got Oliver fighting on this Earth. We got shot reverse shot between him and the Monitor. And so, whilst they're fighting, he's obviously showing up. And this is the shot I'm talking about in the background. This kind of looks like the sort of Wayne building that we see in Batwoman. So, it could be a version of Gotham City. Don't know if it's Earth-38, Earth-1 or anything. Could be a completely different Earth or, you know, completely different city, to be frank. But, the Monitor says, Oliver, it's time. And then Oliver replies, has the planet been evacuated yet? And then he goes, not entirely. And then Oliver in reply, in this shot, goes, then it's not time. So, because he's so committed to the cause, obviously there's going to be some backlash towards the Monitor. Because, you know, the Monitor needs these heroes. They can't die trying to save all these Earths, you know, they have to save, you know, the amount that they can, but they're not going to be able to save everything, basically, because, you know, there's only seven Paragons, obviously the other people can help, but he needs those seven people, and if Oliver dies, I'm guessing Oliver is one of the Paragons, you know, that will change, you know, the fate of the universe, basically. So we get this shot, and I'm guessing this is actually the destruction of Earth-38, it's showing, you know, one of those scans of what's happening, Obviously, it could be like a simulation where they show what could happen to Earth-38. However, damn, it could be. Earth-38 probably is going to get destroyed. That's what's been teased in so many of these trailers. And so, over this, we have Pariah in the next shot saying this line. One thing is certain, everything we know, everything there is, and everything there was is doomed. 
So obviously a reference to time, so time travel stuff as well. But we've got him in what looks like the Arrow Bunker. I could be wrong about that, or it could be like a new place entirely. And you got the Monitor with Pryor, and that is what he's saying. So he's obviously predicting the fate of the universe. And over that voice overlay, you've got what looks like maybe Clark Kent's glasses, or like a version of Kara's glasses, because, you know, Kara in the background actually has glasses on. So there is blood all over it, it's cracked, so presumably this is in relation to a death, right? And then we move on, and Barry slumps to the ground. Seems like Earth 90's Flash is right next to him as it cuts to this shot, so is Barry dead? Probably not, it looks like he's just slumped to the ground and he's not, like, entirely dead. But the trailer makes you think he's dead. You know, Clark Kent, a version of him's dead because there's blood on his glasses. And then Oliver drops his bow. This seems like it's at the same place as those prior shots, so it seems like, you know, Oliver's gonna die. Doubt it's gonna be in this specific scene, but nevertheless he does drop his bow. Okay, so then the last shot of the trailer is of Pariah. So, that was a lot to break down, hopefully you enjoyed the video. This trailer was so cool and there was so much to talk about, which I really enjoy and I really appreciate. The Flash is on tonight, the mid-season finale as well as Arrow. Going to be watching both of them and then obviously videos will come out tomorrow they're definitely going to be linked to crisis so be on the lookout for that and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.